Short-term rentals uh, now make up 30% of Vancouver's uh, accommodations for tourists and uh, Airbnb is effectively Vancouver's largest hotel. We will be legalizing most of the short-term rental listings. Roughly 70% of the current supply of, of Airbnb and other short-term rentals will continue to be uh, le available uh, and legal if they uh, have business licenses. And that means uh, re returning roughly a thousand units to uh, long-term rental supply. What is allowed is short-term rentals in private residences, either owned or rented, uh, with a business license and a small fee. That's 49 bucks a year. What's not allowed is a non-principal residence or a secondary suite. Those are the two that will be uh, against the, the regulations. Over the last four years, we've seen an increasing number of concerns and complaints related to short-term rentals regarding nuisance behavior and safety concerns, such as noise and property damage. Citizen feedback will continue to be an important part of our proposed enforcement system. We're currently in conversation with the online short-term rental platforms to gain their support and cooperation with our new regulations, including requiring operators to post a valid business license in all Vancouver postings. The city will also audit licensees as needed to address fraudulent behavior. We've learned that we need to make compliance with the short-term rental regulatory framework as accessible as possible to encourage participation and cooperation from operators. Other cities are moving to a similar model as we have proposed. And again, our primary objective continues to be to support the availability of long-term rental stock in Vancouver.